three arrows for each team and the bronze medal at stake at these world championships. Nine. Not a bad start. It's very confident, very soft, very controlled, quite impressive. Kin Ji Ning, the 34 year old, will shoot the first arrow for China. Eight. Mini advantage to India. That's still over to the left. They haven't learned the lesson of the Chinese team. Sahil puts it in to the seven. Opportunity for Wang Si Jun to strike back for China. That looks like it's right on the line. It's marked as a 10. The advantage switches over to China. It is in their hands. Chikara Vivek to shoot India's last arrow. Nine, ten, liner. That one looks more of a nine than a ten. So a 25 set from India. Xiao didn't finish the, the match well. A seven required. Seven. <laughs> he shot a seven as well. He looks on, a little nervous, a little tense. And he's not happy with the shot, but a seven was required. And China have just squeezed over the line to the bronze medal. They will go down to the targets just to check that. It's a bit difficult because that nine on the, on the right side for India was, was called with a, a star originally because it looked like it might have touched the line. They just need to confirm that it hasn't and then China will take it, but Zhao Lixu could have done way better there. He did exactly the same thing with his last hour of the, of the main match. Well, they're on the Indian target. That, that arrow to the right there of the 10 circle is the one in question. Does it get marked up? It doesn't, and China are confirmed as the winners. They've had to battle this uh, bronze medal match right the way through. Uh, as Chris said, their grouping was good, just not in the center. The first six arrows going to the right, the second six going to the left, and they couldn't quite dial in. India fought back to level up and force a tiebreaker. A seven was required for Zhao to take it, and a seven is what he got. China are the bronze medalists. Yeah, more than anything, China were, were shooting against themselves there. It's the lesson they need to take from this experience is, is that they need to move their sights, they need to be more proactive in moving their sights and maximizing the points they can get in the target.